I am Famous Fat Dave, part-time cab driver, full-time food lover, and I am taking you on a tour of holiday foods. For most Americans, the biggest holiday of the year is Christmas, and nothing screams Christmas like gingerbread. But did you know that the earliest versions of gingerbread were simple mixtures of honey, ginger, and breadcrumbs? But man, have they come a long way since then. Here at Riviera Bakehouse, they ring in every Christmas season with these little homes away from home. So, gingerbread houses. Let's talk about the history. Well, ginger itself dates back a long time. With the Crusades, they brought it up through the Mideast into Europe, and it really found a home in Germany. Um, and in Germany, they made little cookies called Lebkuchen. And eventually, these Lebkuchen became houses. Around the 1800s, when the Grimm's fairy tale came out, Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. That story became very popular in the US, and people started making gingerbread houses. We've done all the baking. We've used templates to cut out all the gingerbread, so we're ready to start assembling uh -huh. our house. So we have royal icing in our bags, mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're going to start assembling it wall by wall. Royal icing is basically meringue powder, water, and confectioner sugar. It's like a cement. It hardens mm -hmm. and it's really stable. Is this edible? It is, but it's a little too sweet. Yeah, too sweet? Yeah, in my book. Eh, too sweet. No? You want no, it's too sweet. You're yeah, right. You it's just overlapping, overlapping, just like regular roof tiles. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use Neko's. You can just eat the whole thing, right? Yeah. You eat on Christmas Day. I know of a lot of families that make them with their children, so it's a great project to do with kids. The first gingerbread men were in the court of Elizabeth I. Wow. She uh, made gingerbread men in the shape of her guests. I could do this all day. <laughs> it's meditative. Yeah, it is. It's got a kind of a zen quality to it. Oh, you could help me. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll help you, <laughs> yeah. The next step is a little, like a balcony or porch. So and you even use gingerbread better, scaffolding. We can remove it okay. since it's dry. You really go all out on the detail. I like it. It's over the top. We've done more advanced ones for um, special events that are really big. Um, I've done a gnome home, um, which gnome was actually home. like built into a tree trunk. And so all the bark was made out of gingerbread. Wow. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make snow. We're going to make snow on the rooftops and snow on the ground. Make it look like Christmas. Yeah. Now that you have all the snow down, we're going to add yeah. a snowman. You're a good teacher. You just you, you show and you let me get my own style. You're not yelling at me. <laughs> it's Christmas time, cold. right? It's, it's cold out. So the next step is we're going to put oh, a little cuckoo that cuckoo. we made out of gumdrops. I feel very proud. I've built my first gingerbread house. We do have an extra piece of scaffolding. Extra scaffolding. Do you want to try that? Would you partake in some scaffolding sure, with sure. me? Thank you. Merry Christmas. Mmm. That is delicious. I mean, Thank that you. is delicious. That's holiday food. Christmas.